Welcome back. In this video, we wanted to introduce you to the single largest fish living in the Great Lakes region, the lake sturgeon. The lake sturgeon is a fish of extremes. They can reach a maximum length of six feet and can weigh up to 300 pounds. In Ontario, the lake sturgeon is found in the rivers of the Hudson Bay Basin, the Great Lakes Basin, and all of their connecting waterways, including the St. Lawrence River. There are three distinct populations in Ontario. The Great Lakes Upper St. Lawrence population of lake sturgeon is a species at risk, classified as threatened at the federal level. Sturgeons live in a wide variety of habitats, rivers for spawning, rivers, lakes, estuaries, and the sea for feeding and overwintering, and estuarine areas for feeding young. The lake sturgeon is a prehistoric fish, truly a living dinosaur. There are fossils of sturgeon on record dating back to the Jurassic period, some 150 million years ago. And in all that time, sturgeon as a family of fish remain largely unchanged. We can see these prehistoric characteristics just by looking at them. Lake sturgeon are covered in five layers of bony plates known as scutes, protective like armor. They have large pectoral fins and heterocircle caudal fins. If you think that the lake sturgeon looks something like a shark, you're not far off. Both emerged during the Jurassic period and they have something else in common. The lake sturgeon's skeleton is cartilaginous rather than hard bone like our own. Lake sturgeons are bottom feeders. You can tell a lot about a fish by looking at its mouth. Lake sturgeon have inferior mouths facing the bottom of their lake or river habitat. Their mouths are protrusible, extending downward into the sand or mud at the bottom of their habitat and able to suck their prey right up out of the sand and into their bellies. They are able to filter sand or mud substrate out through their gills, swallowing only their food. They have a varied diet, including mollusks, crustaceans, worms, leeches, and other small organisms found hiding out in the mud or sand. Lake sturgeon don't have great eyesight, but they do have barbels. If you take a look at the lake sturgeon's rostrum, they have what appear to be whiskers. These are a sensory organ called barbels, which allow the sturgeon to sense the movement of its prey in the water around it, allowing them to hone in on prey even when camouflaged, buried under the mud or sand. Not only is the lake sturgeon an old species of fish, uh, female lake sturgeon have a long lifespan some having been known to live between 70 and 100 years. Like I said, the Great Lakes Upper St. Lawrence population of lake sturgeon is classified as threatened. This is due largely to human activities such as overfishing, overexploitation of lake sturgeon for their eggs, known as caviar, habitat loss, and degradation. The lake sturgeon is protected both provincially and federally. And on a personal level, we can work to protect this species by ensuring that we follow all fishing laws and quotas, by continuing to educate ourselves about best practices on the water, and by working to reduce our imprint on the wild spaces around us. Of course, it isn't just fish who live in the Great Lakes ecosystem. In our next video, we'll introduce you to an unsung hero a class of animal in the Great Lakes whose health is nonetheless tied to healthy fish populations.